You are watching a special presentation from Tinkle Group Gaming. Hello guys and welcome here to the Jowl Cup Series. This is race number three here today from the Trash Atlanta Motor Speedway. Today we present to you the Am Better Health 400. I'm Brian here in the booth with you today. Starting on the pole will be the number 43 for Legacy Motorsports. That is Dylan Ibrahimian. To his outside will be that number 15 of Mark DeSoto. And man, I got to tell you, <clears throat> if you watched that race last night or yesterday afternoon for the Hitachi Truck Series, oh, you might be hoping we don't see anything similar to that. Because let's just say we've made up for a rather calm two races so far in both series combined. Um, so... Uh, these guys obviously hoping to keep clean today, but man, you know, when you get a run, it gets aggressive. I mean, we saw three wide, something you could arguably, um, you arguably can't do here. Same with the four wide. Four wide just does not work, and we might even see that today. So these guys hopefully, you know, I'm hoping they calm down quite a bit, because if not, you guys are going to be in for a meme fest, um, of course. Um, I think it was Nathan Orman. No, it wasn't Nathan Orman that won yesterday. I'll have to go back and remind myself who won. But um, we'll get going here. Oh, it was Dick Clark that won yesterday. Dick Clark in the number seven. He's in the field today. Can he do the same? Will someone else win? We'll find out. Let's roll the intro when we come back. The green flag from Trash Atlanta in just a moment. Here we go, the cars making their way down the back straightaway. It's turn three and four. Deep breath, guys, deep breath. Of course, we ran here last year, two races. Um, of course, we ran a double header. Mitchell Collins, Charles Sanford both won those races. One of them was a 500 last year. This year, they decided, let's stick with the shorter lengths, so that's why we have the Am Better Health 400. It is the only visit this season to Atlanta as the pace car peels off. Dylan Ibrahimian, Mark DeSoto, green flag. We're racing at Trash Atlanta. And if you want to ask me, why are we racing here if you're just going to keep calling it Trash Atlanta? I'll tell you, better off than Texas. And I don't care what anybody says about that IndyCar race that happened at Texas or that last truck race. It's a shit show. Sorry, it's a shit track. But I'll save those thoughts for out of turn four. Go watch that if you want my true thoughts. And the teammates here were so close at the line. And I think Charles Sanford barely edged him at the line. So give Sanford the bonus points for, or the bonus point for leading the lap. Here comes Mohamed Zain Abdullah. He's looking low. One's in the wall. Nathan Ormond. And Mohamed Zain Abdullah will lead that lap. Oh, they're wrecking. 48 in the wall. 88 joining them, but I think we stay green. Yeah, we stay green. Unbelievable. Yeah, 
Look at the speeds these guys are reaching. Oh, 43's in the wall now. Pulling a Ross Chastain, he stayed in it. This guy's reaching speeds of over 200 miles an hour here. Man, a tough break for Austin Shaw. That'll basically take him out of this race, as you can imagine. I think he pitted. Yes, he did. He is fixing the damage on that car. Unfortunate break for him. Here comes Mitchell Hodak. But Mohamed Zain Abdullah keeps leading his teammate, Chad Bedford, putting up a good run. And now he's up in the wall. Good hard racing early here at Atlanta. The field's a little bit more spread out. You see Zach Fitzwater back there. He's trying to make something happen. Mitchell Hodak looking for the lead. He's got the run. He's going to use the apron. He won't get it this time. Mohamed Zain Abdullah going to have to give it up this time. And you see Austin Shaw. He's coming out of the pits. Caution's out. We got a wreck. Turn two. Car's upside down. Couldn't tell who it was. It's the 31 Roberto Crown, or sorry, 31. Looks like Dave James might have been involved in this. Definitely Reggie Fogelman, and the tough seat start to the season for Reggie Fogelman just gets even tougher. He's gonna have a lot of work to do to get back into this season. Only pit stop of the day, I imagine. We did not set up for much pit stop. Sack Fitzwater will stay out. <clears throat> Pretty Shaw as well. Oh, someone's smoking on the front stretch. Looks like it's solved, but Zach Fitzwater, the leader, let's go see what happened. I don't feel this is the reunion at JGR that Michael Collins had hoped for. He gets hooked here by Kyler Anderson and just blatantly hit there. I really think he was blatantly hit there. And you see the 31 then goes, gets hooked by the 17. And then 47 just head on into him. Colin Cropley into him as well. And that sends him spinning wildly. And here's just where everybody else gets involved. Reggie Fogelman's day ends there. Dick Clark, Christian Bracken, up and over goes the 31. Just a bunch of guys with nowhere to go, unfortunately. Big one here on lap number 8. We'll take you back to the green in just a moment. Welcome back. Here are all the guys out of the race. Aaron Jeter. Kevin Howard, Roberto Crown Jr., Reggie Fogelman, and Pretty Shaw. Tough break for them. Austin Shaw's four laps down. He's got damage, and he's riding third right now in this um, line of cars. But it is Zach Fitzwater, Mitchell Collins, Annie Thomas, Michael Hoax, Faith Cole. Or, yeah, Faith Cole in fifth. Then you got Mitchell Hodak, Mohamed Zain Abdullah, Tr Dylan Ibrahimi, and Ch Chad Bedford, Trevor Collins. We're back underway, and how much is that 48 going to play a role in what happens in the front? 
just not a smart decision by Austin Shaw to stay out and you see he's gonna be the human wrecking ball right here if he does not get out of the way up front battle for the lead Mitchell Collins Zach Fitzwater they battled before and they'll battle once again Fitzwater outside trying to make it work here comes the 38 Faith Cole and the 19 of Michael Hoax question will be who can get there first looks like Mitchell Collins is gonna clear here on the front stretch so Mitchell Collins to the race lead here in Atlanta Again, him and Charles Sand for the winners here last season. One of them looking to defend their win as we cut down to one race at this track. Here comes Fitzwater. Will he set himself up for a slingshot? I think we just saw the 28 in the wall. Yeah, everybody's kind of single file right now. Look at all these cars damaged. They're just out of this. Charles Sanford, no hood on that car. Unbelievable. Here we go. Inside, Zach Fitzwater. Michael Hoax, is he going to help? Or is he going to stay out of this? Who got it at the line? It was... Mitchell Collins that time he's trying on that outside he's trying the Larson line almost there is no Chevy back here to help that 16 and you can tell these guys behind they're just staying out of it if Faith Cole is up there I think maybe she'd go up to help that 22 out help a fellow Ford but right now she's not even close enough to lend a hand Oh, Larson line for the 22, and they've caught the 48 already. It's a lap traffic moment, and they will split them and make easy work of the 48. And he is just dramatically slower than the field. Now you see Faith Cole looking for the lead. And they've caught the three of Colin Cropley. This one's going to be a more challenging one. The three in the 77, dead ahead. Faith Cole clears for the lead. Michael Hoax is back there, though. And keep in mind, Colin Cropley, Michael Hoax, they are friends. Oh, a wreck behind. Fitzwater's in the fence. The caution is out. Oh my goodness. Fitzwater, probably just the biggest wreck of his career right there. Michael Hoax will lead us back. And let's go see what happened. Just a heartbreak for Zach Fitzwater. You see, everybody really had to check up. And just four wide there. And the 21 hits just the right angle and sends Fitzwater up into the air. And you can see he's riding that safer barrier right there. And then someone hooks the 23 and that's just enough to launch the, tw the 16 into the sky. 
And up and over goes Zach Fitzwater. Mitchell Collins, his day going to be ended by Daniel Voiles, your Richmond winner. And then you see the 78 get in there. How's about the 8? Scott Upton as well. He's had a strong start to the season. Another big one here on lap 22. We'll take you back to the green in just a moment. There's going to be 28 cars left in this race out of the 40 that started. Annie Thomas, Mitchell Hodak, uh, Mitchell Collins, Zach Fitzwater, Trevor Collins, Daniel Voiles, Nikolai Sykes. They are all done for the day. Austin Shaw is still limping that thing to the end of this race, and he might just come out with a good day if he can keep going. Might not be all doom and gloom after that opening run. Michael Hoax, Faith Cole, Mohamed Zain Abdullah, Brittany White, Dylan Ibrahimian were back underway. Again, how much are the 28, the 3 going to hold everything up? Or 77 and the 3 going to hold everything up? And the answer is not much. Now these leaders, they're going to try to make something happen here. Faith Cole looking inside. Mohamed Zain Abdullah is back there as well. Here comes Brittany White to be in the middle of this as well. Faith Cole to the lead. Prior strongest run yet this season in that front row motorsports car. Great work right now. Four wide. Three wide for the lead. <coughs> Mohamed Zain Abdullah looking for the lead on Michael Hoax. He'll get it this time. Brittany White now trying to get into this battle. She's looking inside of the 28, 19's in the wall. Dylan Young is up here in this battle right now. So is the 34, Annie Cole's teammate, uh, Alexander Underwood, and he's trying to make something happen too. How's about that? Your Daytona 500 front row, second and third. But Mohamed Zain Abdullah, he's trying to make up for lost time. He missed the field for the Daytona 500. He made the last race. He's made this race. Didn't do too well at Richmond, but he's trying to make up for that all with a big win here today. We'll see if he can do it. Again, keep in mind the top 33 changes after five races. And we go to this season's top 33. So everybody feels the pressure now, and especially with Coda being our next race. Alexander Underwood, he's looking for the lead. Mohamed Zain Abdullah to the Larson line. Can he hang up there without hitting the wall? He does that time. Dead ahead, the 78, Jackie Smith, re remarkably slower than the leaders right now. Lap traffic moment. Oh, the 24 got slowed down. This is going to bear watching now. And they'll get through just fine that time. Mohamed Zain Abdul in the wall, the 48's dead ahead now. Brittany White to the lead. Oh, 
Oh man, Austin Shaw. That is a close call. Let's see, we'll get back to a little bit of normalcy for now. I'm telling you, the speeds they're reaching, it's almost like Ricky Raceway right now. Small track. Oh, the 28 just punted Brittany White. Oh, man. If Brittany White gets back up to that 28, she might have something to say to him. That was... Oh, my gosh. She straight up just punted him. Or he straight up just punted her into that outside wall. No doubt if she gets back up there, she might have something to say to him. And heck, I would after that. Straight up just... I mean, and like I said, Mohamed Zain Abdullah might have just gotten loose. <coughs> oh, caution. Big wreck on the back stretch. Let's go see what happened. Looks like Dan Hummel and Chris Bracken found um, Christian Bracken found the 48 Austin Shaw, and you see they're both gonna try to split them here. They're both gonna try to go outside of them. I don't think Austin Shaw realized the 25 was there, and man, he just lepaged his teammate. And then, of course, squeezed him up, and then the 45, just nowhere he could have gone. 78 gets into the 48, and the 48, what a job of not toppling over right there. Man, he was teetering. He looked like he was going to go for a wild ride. He keeps it together. Jackie Smith, though goes into the wall man tough break for those guys we'll take you back to the green in just a moment Jackie Smith will join those out of the race Austin Shaw will get yet another position on this but up front it's Mohammed Zain Abdullah Alexander Underwood Michael Hoke, Dylan Young Faith Cole that is your top five Then you got Nathan Ormond in 6th, Dylan Abrahamian in 7th, Brittany White in 8th, Gina Fogelman in 9th, Daniel Gitterow rounds out your top 10. We're back underway. Underwood immediately looking to get around. Here we go, Michael Hoax looking for the lead. Again, as mentioned, after this we go to Coda, then we go to Martinsville. Then we got Phoenix Auto Club Long Beach. That'll be our West Coast swing for the season. That's all coming your way here on Tinkle Group Gaming. Mohamed Zain Abdullah is going to keep the lead to the outside with no help. Again, if I'm Mohamed Zain Abdullah, I'd be very fearful if Brittany White gets back up there. We got nine to go here at Atlanta. The Fords are down low, but Mohamed Zain Abdullah is pacing the field. Eight to go at the line. Um. 
Michael Hoax is right there. He can feel it. Now he's going to look for the lead. He's going to have Underwood help, but Underwood's trying to look low himself. He's taking a line slightly lower than Mohammed Zain Abdullah. Or slightly lower, lower than Michael Hoax, my mistake. He's made it clear. I think Underwood's made it clear. He's like, I'm not going with you, bud. You know, you can look underneath the 28. I'm not helping you, though. You're on your own. And here's going to be Hoax's chance if he can use that 48 as a pick. They'll split him. Oh. 19 hard into the wall. Five to go at the line. <coughs> Warmond is now up to third. Out of turn four, four to go. Mohammed Zain Abdullah trying to hold off Michael Hoax. Here comes the 34 again. We've already known that he's kind of not going to help that 19 out. Oh, caution's out. Not sure what for. But for the second time in three races, we're going to have overtime. And that'll take the 48 right out of this thing. 65 and 11 will be right back in it. So we'll have 24 cars when we get back going. Let's go see what happened. I'm telling you, some people are just going to be happy that Austin Shaw is not going to race in overtime here. Thanks to those rules. Chad Bedford. Just no time to react. Austin Shaw just came up at him real quick. And the 48 into that outside wall. His day is now over. With overtime starting soon. But it was a valiant effort. He'll come home in 27th or 20, 27th, 26th, somewhere in there. You know, at least salvage some points today. But overtime will be up next here on Tinkle Group Gaming. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. It is overtime presented by Mitchell's Memes for the second time in three races. Again, unlimited attempts at today's overtime to try to get a green flag finish. Of course, if you watched yesterday's truck race, we made it to the last lap and then chaos broke out. But because the white flag waved, the race was over at that point. Mohamed Zain Abdullah leads. Michael Hoax in second. He's got the front row motorsports guys behind him. And they've not been really willing to work with the 19. We'll see if things change now that it's overtime. We're underway. And I think the front row guys, you could tell Alexander Underwood tried to launch there, maybe leave a gap for the 38 to get through, but the 24 had other ideas. Michael Hoax might be in the best position as Alexander Underwood to the race lead. Here comes Dylan Young. The white flag is out. One lap of racing to go, presented by Mitchell's Memes. Again, that 24, he just might be in the best position. Same with the 19. Here goes Hoax. He's looking low. He's got no help behind. Underwood's making it work on the outside. Through the final corners, Alexander Underwood will win in Atlanta. Congratulations to the 34. He gets the job done.
they race and they finish clean. Man, it was a good one. It was quite a wreck fest. Michael Hoax, he came so close, he just never had anybody behind him to help him when he needed it. And that's just the unfortunate part of racing here. You need the help behind you. He just couldn't get it. But Alexander Underwood, he will come home victorious. We want to thank you for watching. We're going to show your results and your standings. We'll see you next week at COTA. Till then, goodbye everyone.